Welcome back to 504 Road Trips. Today we're going to start our LA 300 series beginning here at the corner of LA 300, LA 46, and LA 39 in the community of St. Bernard, or historically San Bernardo, in St. Bernard Parish. Ahead on the left you can see the historic St. Bernard Parish Courthouse, which was the fifth St. Bernard Parish Courthouse and the third that was on this site. LA 300 runs alongside Bayou Terrebuff, which you can see on the right-hand side of the road. The local name for LA 300 is Bayou Road. At one time, Bayou Road was the only way to get to remote areas of St. Bernard Parish, such as Delacroix Island and Shell Beach. If you watched our last few videos, we took LA 46 out to Shell Beach, and LA 46 is a newer highway with four lanes, and it completely bypasses LA 300. They've made efforts since building the new LA-46 or the Judge Perez extension to discourage people from using LA-300 and we're going to see that later on in the video at least twice that they've completely cut off access to LA-300 with a dead end where they just destroyed part of the road and put up barricades and so we'll have to go around that. Then there's another section that just has a do not enter sign and we're not really sure what's beyond that. but. I didn't continue past the do not enter sign, I went around. And the third part, which they just seem to be strongly discouraging people to drive through, we're just going to keep on going through and it's a one lane road. People park alongside of it and fish and there's people riding ATVs out there, but it's really not designed to be a through highway anymore. And it's really surprising that Louisiana has continued to maintain this highway as a state highway with that kind of restriction in place. This area of St. Bernard Parish was settled in the late 1700s and early 1800s by the Islanos people who were people who immigrated to the United States from the Canary Islands, which is part of Spain. And they settled down here and they, they were fishermen and trappers and this was good terrain for doing that kind of thing. A lot of the people that live down here today are descendants of those original settlers from the Canary Islands and you'll see a lot of Spanish sounding names as a result of that. The Islanios people have done a lot to uphold their culture and heritage down here and they have an annual festival called the Islanios Festival or Los Islanios Fiesta which is held right here on Bayou Road uh, somewhere off to the left I'm not exactly sure where I've been a few times and um, right now I would assume with the lockdowns and the situation that our planet is in they're not having any kind of festivals but the events hosted by the Los Islanos Heritage and Cultural Society of St. Bernard which was established back in 1976. La Fiesta de Los Islanos is a two-day event held at the beginning of March and hosts heritage performances by local groups as well as groups from the Canary Islands. Local bands perform in both English and Spanish as well as craftsmen and vendors display their works. Traditional Spanish food of the community is available to attendees as well as Cajun and Creole food. Now I just wanted to mention, I'm doing this voiceover unscripted, uh, unlike the way I usually do everything where I've researched everything and have a script to follow. I'm just watching the video and commenting and I'm reading from some notes uh, regarding some of the things that we're seeing. But if you're wondering, that's why this video seems a little bit different than my normal videos. As we come around this curb up here, we're going to come to a dead end. This is actually a complete break in the road. There's no way to get past that. I think there might be a canal there. Uh, so we're going to jet back over to LA 46 to bypass the incomplete section of road. And we're going to get right back to LA 300 over here. The part of the road that we missed is only a couple of hundred yards long, and so I didn't bother driving to the right going to the dead end and making my way back. On the right hand side is a large oil field plant owned by Enterprise Products Partners and um, now we're just going to ride along here. There's a couple more sites to see along the way. As we drive by your road you're going to see different community names such as Toka, Verretville, Reggio up in the upper left hand corner of your screen and I approximated the locations of these places because they're not incorporated cities or towns they're just communities they don't really appear on maps the way they usually would if they were an incorporated area they don't have any outline showing where one begins and the next one ends so 
it's just an approximation. But these are the traditional names of these communities. Ahead on the left is the St. Bernard Catholic Church and across the street on the right is the St. Bernard Cemetery. And these, this is the church that St. Bernard Parish was named for. Back in the early days of Louisiana, most of the people in Louisiana were Catholic and so the municipal parishes were named after the Catholic Church. And that's the reason why Louisiana has parishes rather than counties. Also on the left hand side is the site of the Kenilworth Plantation and the plantation house is set way back off the road on the left hand side so you really won't be able to see it from here. Just a reminder, if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell beside it to be notified of when our new videos come out. And give us a thumbs up or hit the applause button if you enjoy our videos. Now we come upon another road closure and this time it doesn't have a barricade, it just has a sign that says dead end and do not enter so I decided to go ahead and make the U-turn here rather than try to continue on and possibly risk going to jail or something. Not sure what would have really happened if I would have continued past this point. But there's a little turnaround here and this is the PGT Beauregard Memorial at Contreras Plantation and the plantation is long gone but there's a little monument here and a memorial to General Beauregard. So now we're going to hit warp speed again and we're going to head over to LA-46 to bypass the forbidden section of road and I'm not sure exactly how much of LA-300 we missed but it was a pretty significant portion this time. And as we go back onto LA 300, we come in right at the flood wall. And this is the last part of the Louisiana or New Orleans flood protection system. When these gates close, everything outside of this flood wall is in danger of flooding from the storm surge. And it looks like this part of the road is also just extremely discouraged for people to drive on. It's really only one lane it has a white stripe you can see where the old yellow stripes used to be but there's just a white stripe and the way it's set up it looks like I'm on the part that you drive on and the part on the other side of the white stripe is a parking lane see a couple of people here on ATVs riding around and up ahead there's some people fishing in the bayou but I didn't encounter any other cars here it doesn't seem to be a one way. There wasn't anything that, saying, that said do not enter. And at the other end there's nothing saying do not enter. I think it's just for local traffic only and it's not really meant to be a highway anymore. Even though it still carries a Louisiana Highway number. Now originally this was Louisiana Highway 46. Prior to the construction of East Judge Perez which now carries LA 39. LA-39 came down along St. Bernard Highway 
to Poydras and then continued down the river where it goes now. And LA-46 started at Poydras, came all the way up along here, and went to Shell Beach. And LA-300 didn't start until the junction where we're going to end this video, which we'll see that in a few minutes. Now the road's widening back out to two lanes like a normal highway. Here you'll notice the word school stenciled onto the highway, and there's no school. On the left hand side was the Sebastian Roy School, and it flooded in Hurricane Katrina and never reopened. And finally around 2017 they demolished the whole building and there's nothing left on the property except cleared land. Here Bayou Road veers off to the right and this was the original beginning of Louisiana Highway 300 and that would have been the way to go to get down to Delacro. However we're going to continue on 300 as it is today and this is going to take us to the junction of LA 300 and LA 46. And this is now called the Florissant Highway and if you saw our earlier series on LA 46 we covered most of Florissant Highway except for this part right here. And we're going to conclude today's video here at this junction and we'll be back in three days with the rest of the highway down to Delacro. If you'd like to help support our channel, please check out our merchandise at 504roadtrips.spreadshirt.com. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up, post a comment, subscribe, share and follow us on social media and join us for our next 504 Road Trip. <music>